this year's theme for World Water Day is Wasting of Water or Waste War. It was aptly chosen given the United Nations prediction of 55%, 55% increase in global water demand by 2050 compared to 2000. To meet this demand, companies will need to manage waste water far more efficiently than they do today. We hope so, because the risk of failing to do so becomes concrete when you look at the water-intensive industry, such as semiconductors, like Intel, for example, or AMD, or the miners' industry. Semiconductors are essential components in technology products, including computers, um, including smartphones, uh, microchips, and so on. The demand for chips is going to increase with the wide adoption of solar energy and connected devices. Think about Bitcoin. Semiconductors, or semiconductor manufacturing, however, requires large volumes of ultra pure water to avoid the contamination of electronic devices. A typical semiconductor manufacturing facility uses, for example, two to four million gallons of ultra pure water per day. In 2015, Inter, the largest semiconductor company by market capitalization, used 9 billion gallons of water. Given the water intensity of these companies showing now what good stewardship will be vital to managing water-related business risks. That's the reason a lot of people are against bitcoins. The manufacturing of semiconductors generates wastewater that contains heavy metals and toxic solvents too. Due to the hazardous nature of uh, these liquids, for example, semiconductor companies historically have incurred cleanup costs related to groundwater contamination of up to 100 million US dollars. Regulators have also shut down facilities for releasing untreated effluents. On the other hand, some companies are proactively meeting these challenges and mitigating related risks by reducing their reliance on chemicals and proactively improving the treatment of water before discharge. The semiconductors or semi-electronics, for example, STM, recycled and reused 45% of the total water it withdrew in uh, 2050 on one hand. Micron technology to install on site uh, fluoride waste treatment facilities. We have to look on this several semiconductor facilities who are situated in arid regions, one, and it is here where the tension between the needs of industry and the community will be most acute. This is especially true where there is an economic driver to attract jobs and investments. That's good for economy. But showing good stewardship is essential too to maintaining goodwill with regulators and local populations. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, for example, is an example of a company that proactively managed community relations during the 2015 drought, the Taiwanese government 
imposed water restrictions, prompting concerns from the public regarding water use in the semiconductor industry. To alleviate these concerns, TSMC conducted a media tour to explain its water conservation efforts. Intel is another example of a good water steward that reduced water use or usement in an a right region. In 2015, the company reduced water withdrawal at its facility in Rio Rancho, New Mexico, by about 40, uh, 40 to 45% compared to 2010. Transparency is another important element of being a good steward, however. Disclosure on water use remains poor and incoherent. I'm talking now about the most of semiconductor, not the industry. No industry standards for reporting on water use, making it difficult to assess the efforts of individual companies. Intel is an industrial leader in disclosing the disclosing water usage and reports on use by location with real-time data on its website on one hand with the changing climate water risks are liking scalate in many regions which could trigger stricter regulations by the governments for example on water efficiency and discharge and is good it's yet to be it's yet to be seen if the semiconductor industry can efficiently manage this risk and that's what we are looking for.